boots on the ground. Visiting one of my parks and uh, obviously wanting to make the trip most worthwhile. Talk to a resident and just looking at a couple of homes they're probably going to need to be demolished. And um, But we got some uh, few used homes we found so we're going to try to move some of those in and uh, get some new tenants in. And so that's exciting, but uh, you know, first talked with one seller just 10 minutes away who owns a park from a park we currently own two years ago. Went and met with them. Um, they changed their mind. Uh, and they called me last week. I'd stayed in touch with them, built up a good relationship. Uh, and they're, you know, had some health problems and ready to sell. So I'm going over there next. We'll see what happens. You never know if it's going to work out. But I uh, also stopped at another park that I've been talking to a lady off and on the last couple of years. She threw out a random price. Um, saw a guy in the park talking to some other guy. So I went and talked to him. I said, oh, yeah, she lives right over here at that house. So I went and knocked on her door. Has an office sign on there. Talked to her. She, so I did find out, hey, why she didn't call me back. Um, why they're not selling right now. But I found out her wants and needs. And more importantly, she put a face with a name. And, uh, and so, you know, hopefully, who knows, a couple of years down the road, maybe that one works out too, but, uh, it just so much more credibility when you own a park in the area. Um, it really opens up the doors to create relationships with other owners in the area. Um, they see it as more legitimate they know you can close. And, uh, and that's, you know, obviously ease of operations is a huge thing when you can own multiple assets in the same area. So. That's what I'm up to today and driving through a couple other parks in the area. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Beautiful day and uh, take care guys.